Yesterday, I visited my uncle and aunt, and I'm my favorite. My uncle is my in-law uncle, but he's like a real uncle, and I'm his favorite nephew. And uh, he and I had a very interesting discussion um, about the, uh, he think that white on black crime is more prevalent than black on white crime. I, I'm, I used to be surprised, but at the same time, I didn't know that it was so out of proportion. Yeah. That black on white crime was so out of proportion to white on black. I couldn't even convince him. He was like that he was wrong. Mm -hmm. That it's the other way around. Yeah. That blacks are attacking whites in every way that you can think of. Yeah. And it's just everywhere. Even by it's, rock. Uh, <coughs> never mind the population difference. Yeah. Because there's five times as many whites as there are blacks. Right. But even in raw numbers, blacks kill more than twice as many whites yeah. as whites kill blacks. He's, and the other and the other violent crimes are even. Much worse, obviously. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? He said, well, I don't see it on... Well, he didn't sound like that. He's watching. <laughs> I don't see it in the news. I don't hear about right. it. And I said, that's why you think it's not happening, because you're not hearing about it. Mm -hmm. they, because he was naming Dylan Roof situation. <laughs> you know, right. Dylan Roof, right? Yeah. And some other crime, uh, white on black crime. Every time I, uh, black people want to bring up a white on black crime, Dylan Roof, and and yeah, me too. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I told him what we're gonna start doing, maybe once a week, is do a show on the, the white on black crime. Yeah. Because I'm thinking now that if blacks knew about it, mm -hmm. they would be more outraged about it. They they just right. not aware of it. Yeah, I remember um, one guy, one caller, was shocked to find out that. Blacks are so many more time, so much more likely per capita to commit robbery, and then, and that was like that's, <laughs> and it kind of explains why they're followed around in the stores and stuff. Yeah, and so, but he was shocked. He was like, "Oh my gosh!" And he was like saddened by it. Yeah. So I think that's what the problem is. Blacks, are, like the liberal media, they show the white on black, so mm -hmm. it gives the impression. That whites are attacking blacks more, yeah, and and that's and it's set up that way to keep blacks angry at white people, yeah. so that these liberal because the liberal media support the Democrats, and that causes blacks to vote for the Democrats even more so, so it's a setup. So I have to show my uncle, my favorite uncle, mm -hmm. I'm his favorite nephew, that it's the other way around and stop talking about Dylan Roof. <laughs> <laughs> Find some other crime. And while I was there, I had some uh, turkey and dressing and collard greens. I hadn't had that in a minute, in a while. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> because they're country people, even though they've been out of the country for years, Alabama. But when they cook, it is down home, down yonder food. And even though I wasn't that hungry, I couldn't resist it. It was so good. <laughs> so that's what I did yesterday at the church. The lynching of a white man in 2017. This story is mind-blowing. So the setup is, uh, James, there is something. This is on TV. This is a TV show. Am I right? Yeah. There's a, there's a reality TV show called The Bachelorette. Right. Oh, and so what happens is they bring in one girl mm -hmm. and then 100 men. So, <laughs> right. So well, not quite something like that. Yeah, not quite a hundred. <laughs> so she can pick out a boyfriend or something. Yeah. Right. Am I? Because I haven't seen the show. I just saw these clips. Right. Is that right? Yes. And and so they bring in black guys and white guys and I guess different races mm -hmm. of guys. And so take. And this it, was the first time that there was a black bachelorette. A, and oh, so the girl, all the other bachelorettes were white or something else. Oh, okay. And so, so this is the very first time they had a black bachelorette mm -hmm. on this show and all hell break loose. Correct. That's why you can't take blacks anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this is the very reason white folks don't want to be bothered with you. I know. It's always a mess every time you show up. And she's not even the only one creating the mess. Like, 
everybody is taking part in it. Have they had black guys on there before? They've had black guys. Because I noticed they had a lot of black guys on there. Yeah. Are these black Those guys are... trying to get a date with the white woman? The black woman. Oh, yeah, the white woman. Did mm-hmm. they bring these guys just for the black woman, or do they normally have black guys? I'm sure they have. For white women. Yeah, I'm under. sure they have all races. Oh, okay. Of male contestants. And so tell us what happened. Okay, so Lee Garrett is a white male contestant on The Bachelorette, and he, it turns out, has, been, has had a history of tweeting even like years prior to <laughs> appearing on The Bachelorette. And right. he's like from the South. And just a southern white guy, handsome guy. There's a picture of him. Oh, and okay. so uh, a nice man too. Yeah, very nice. He Too nice. Doesn't mean any harm to uh-huh. anyone <laughs> yeah. from the south. But he's basically a conservative, and his tweets. Well, I'll show you. So what we're gonna do is we gonna read you some of his tweets. And then we have some sound bites from the show. This is what's going to blow your mind, folks. The lynching of a white man in 2017. So this guy is conservative, it seems. Right. He's been tweeting for years. Is he related to Donald Trump? And I his, wish. And his tweets. <laughs> I bet he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> so ABC's Bachelorette contestants complained of, quote-unquote, racism and, quote-unquote, misogyny from white male contestants. This is why we don't want white folks, uh, black folks on there. Here are the evil racist tweets from Lee Garrett. This is the main one that, that stuck in their craw. What is the difference between the NAACP and the KKK? Wait for it. One has the shame to cover their racist blank faces. <laughs> That's true. Yep. So the, the white KKK have the shame to cover their faces, whereas the black KKK NAACP have no shame. Right. And they are killing the soul of black Americans with all these lies and hatred that for years they've been telling black folks about white folks and this phony idea of racism. It doesn't exist. So what's wrong with that tweet? That was considered racist by them. Because they said they compared the... He compared the NAACP to the KKK. Yep. That, that's not racist. That's true. <laughs> okay. The and next tweet is, guys, and I don't know if we have this, the picture of this. Guys, when was the last time you actually saw a pretty feminist? There's a reason for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking this. Yeah. He seems like a normal guy. That's right. If you put the color of someone's skin over the quality of another of the work of another, you are a racist. Meaning affirmative action. Yeah. And a lot of blacks have been allowed to get jobs and get into uh, school universities around the country without earning their way. They've only gotten it because of their skin color. And that means that whites and others who are working hard to get into these schools are not allowed to because they got to let the blacks in simply because they're black. Mm-hmm. That's what he's referring to, right? Yeah. Affirmative action yeah. is wrong based on color. Okay, nothing wrong with that one. Setting the record straight. Irish, the forgotten white slaves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wholeheartedly support inhumane torture for terrorists. And who don't? I know. You have to torture terrorists in order to get information in order to let them know they can't come here and kill us. Um, And so they didn't like that either? Right. Amazing. He said, I don't hate Muslims, I hate Islam. Mm -hmm. Me too. Who don't? Thousands signed a petition to recognize Black Lives Matter as a terrorist group after Dallas. And that was the the mass cop killing? And, uh, yeah, when... After Black Lives Matter, which is a far-left, liberal, radical, evil organization built of uh, black lesbians, I like that word, lesbians, and uh, black homosexuals and white social justice warriors, and they were chanting, what do we want, dead cops? When do we want it now? And after that, people started killing cops. And they had a major—how many cops were killed in, in Dallas? Do you remember? I don't remember. Right. 
And so Black Lives Matter is so on that list this. as being as bad as a worse than the KKK. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nothing wrong with that one. He said Hillary is the millennials version of OJ. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Hillary. <laughs> Don't blame her. She's desperate. He said, well, guys, America is becoming an urban Vietnam. Practice your Second Amendment. It's there for a reason. This guy is smart and aware. Yep. The Orlando terrorist was a devout Muslim and a registered Democrat. That's true. Mm-hmm. Th- this was the terrorist that went into the club. Right yeah. down in Orlando, Orlando, Florida, right. and killed up all those people. Yeah, and so this guy is appears to be a conservative. He tweeted these things out years later. Or at some point, he ended up on this dating show, mm-hmm. and Lord have mercy, it ended up being with a black woman. <laughs> I bet he went, "Oh God, why me at this time?" <laughs> I think he liked her, <laughs> and so. Somehow or another, they found out about his tweets. And these blacks who are uh, liberal, you know, liberal folks Mm -hmm. who love lies and hate the truth. And the blacks aren't the only ones doing this. Right. Poor whites. Yeah. They help get themselves killed. Yep. Amazing. The first black. Yeah. uh, Rachel Lindsay. And then all hell. Female uh, bachelorette. She said something that. I'm like thinking, this woman lost her mind. She doesn't represent me, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. She claimed to be speaking for all blacks. (laughs) Yeah. But wait until you see what they did to Lee Garrett, the white guy who appears to be conservative simply because he spoke his mind by way of tweeting. They lynched this guy. It was so... It, it was just evil. It is evil. I urge you, hurry, 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 run, don't walk, and pick up a copy of my recent book, The Antidote, Healing America from the Poison of Hate, Blame, and Victimhood. It will validate when I say that there's no such thing as racism that it has never existed. I write about Barack Obama and his uh, family life growing up. Um, Louis Farrakhan, matter of fact, Louis Farrakhan mother told him that she wanted to abort him with a clothes hanger when she was pregnant with him. Um, Jesse Jackson, no fathers, no father. Uh, Barack Obama, no father. Michael Brown um, and the guy from Florida, what's his name? Trayvon. Trayvon Martin. Martin, no fathers. And these people have, the one thing they all have in common, no fathers. Even though Michael Brown and uh, Trayvon at one time had one that were together and they split. So pick it up. The antidote, healing America from the poison of hate, Blame and victimhood. So I want to get to this story. Here are the sound bites. The lynching of a white man in 2017. Because Lee, I understand where you're coming from, but I feel like you haven't acknowledged exactly what you're, we're trying to forgive you for. I think you're just saying I've been a bad person, but you're not acknowledging mm. the kind of invisible racism in your mind. You may not be doing it intentionally, but I think you are is still motivating your actions. The racism that is ingrained in your behavior to the point of invisibility is still pushing you mm. to behave in a certain way towards Kenny, towards Eric, towards me in a way that you don't even recognize. So where are you now? Are you acknowledging that even if you didn't intend it, are your actions motivated by racist thoughts that are implicitly embedded in your mentality? Okay. That's the real real question. So racist thoughts. This black guy claimed to know what the white guy is thinking. And he is claiming that the white guy has, quote unquote, racist thoughts. And as a result, you're not giving us enough so that we can forgive you. (laughs) Right. And he used a bunch of big words just to say. 
uh, no. racist thoughts. And, and, and <laughs> left the white guy thinking, "What?" The white guy thinking, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> I, I have no. Uh, are you Michael Eric Dyson? But everybody somebody? else is clapping. Uh, uh, they didn't they understand like the it. Words. You know, like I had anger at one point in my life, and after I overcame the anger, I realized that the things that I was thinking that others were thinking were not true. Right. Those were my thoughts, or thoughts given to me. And they were never the thoughts of the other person. So this black idiot standing up making this statement is talking about himself. Right. Those are the thoughts that he's having, but he's trying to impose them upon the white guy to make the white guy think that he's thinking that. This is what happens almost every time that, the, that racism is accused on somebody. Right. They accuse somebody of racism. The accuser is the one thinking those things mm -hmm. and not the accused. And so this white guy standing there, sitting there looking, thinking, what are you talking about? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. But when you're angry like that, your father, the deceiver, is always telling you things about other people. And you think that that's what they're thinking. Isn't that amazing? I feel like I'm in such a unique position. I have the opportunity to be a spokesperson for African Americans, for women. Okay? And I just feel like you had such an amazing opportunity to be surrounded by different people and like different cultures. And you didn't take advantage of that. I hope that in watching it back, you realize that you were a part of something so great. <laughs> but in case you did, oh, yeah. <laughs> please <laughs> know <laughs> that you could exit stage left and meet me backstage, and I'd be more than happy to give you a black history lesson. <laughs> a lesson on women's rights. A black history lesson. Or, and, or a lesson on women's rights. Can you get any dumber? It's sad. Can you get, and poor guy, they are lynching him right now. This is a mob mentality, and this guy is trying to hold on, the white guy. I bet he is thinking, I'm so glad this woman, I would not be going out with her. <laughs> <laughs> and so this woman said that she is in a unique position as a spokesperson for, as she said, African American, no such thing, but Af for black people. No, she's not. White folk, she is not speaking for me and so many other black people. This woman is insane. Now, she might be speaking for liberal, man-hating, godless women, but not for normal women or black people. Just those blacks who are blind and can't see. Isn't this something? Is this guy just sitting there being lynched? The mob is on him. And here is where it took place. The uh, host of the show, right, Chris Harrison, mm -hmm. and some of the other contestants, yep. they forced um, Lee Garrett, the victim here, to apologize. And I want you to see the hurt and the breakdown of Lee Garrett. They destroy his soul in this very moment. Here we go. Do you, and I think to their point... Do you recognize the misogynistic comments, the sexism, and the racism, whether it's in your past or whether it's still there? Do you recognize that that was there okay. in you? That's the thing. Uh, that's a hard thing to say. It's a hard thing to say that you were or are a racist. I am grateful that I have people in my life now that make me not like I was when I made a racist <laughs> comment. Hold on. I, I. Thank you. I completely denounced that, and I denounced that Lee, and I, I want to learn. Lee has a very unique opportunity right now to absolve yourself in front of all of us. What are you sorry about, and why are you sorry? I'm sorry for saying things when I was not educated and ignorant in those subjects. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, we can take that, bro. I'm going to say, we can take that. I really can. You still didn't acknowledge to me, and maybe I just didn't hear it, that what you said was racist. 
Whether or not you truly believe you are racist, you never actually said these things that I said were racist, they were misogynist, they were just, just crass and rude. Those things are not what's in my heart. Mm-hmm. Help me get better. That's what we want to say. Yeah. That tweet oh. was what was racist, and I denounce it. Okay. Thank you. That's, That's the lynching. He just lost his soul. He gave in to the children of the lie. They forced him. And he still didn't totally say I'm racist, but he caved in. And there are always more devils around than good angels, right? And poor Lee, all those people sitting there forced him to admit to something that he did not do. Yep. Isn't that amazing? It is, and we've seen it happen over and over and over and over again. The only person who has not backed down has been Trump. That's right. For telling the truth. They always set up a bunch of liberals against one conservative because evil cannot handle good, so they need all of the little demons to come out of the gates of hell and attack one good soul in an effort to destroy it. And it works almost every time. I wish I could have just been inside of that Lee's body for a second. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Remember when uh, last weekend, the weekend before last now, when I participated in that... Politicon? Yeah. Yeah. And they have four liberals against me. I just warm out. (laughs) Just dealt with them with truth. Yeah. And with courage. Liberals are foundations... Foundation is uh, built on sand. They have that's why they need so many around, mm-hmm. and they just put this poor guy through it. Such a shame. What a sad way to live. But I wanted you to see this lynching of this white man because this has been going on for fifty years or so. You've had these black and white godless liberals attacking white people making them feel like they're responsible for the failure of their own lives with this false idea of racism. And you've got to start standing up to these folks. And look at the president, James mentioned President Trump. The reason Maxine Waters and the Democrats and others are losing it, because the president is dealing with them. He is not backing down. He's taking names and kicking butts. And they don't know what to do. They are not accustomed to seeing strong men and women stand up to them. Is Lee Garrett still on this show? I don't know. I think this season might be done. I'll look into it for you. I would love to get him on the show. I know. Let's work on it. Okay. All right. We need to get him on the show. I want to know how is he doing. How, how, what does he feel like now being torn down like that? This is what Eva does. It tastes good, and to try to destroy it. This man is not a racist. This man, those tweets that we read, it was the truth. Mm -hmm. There's no hate in that. 